Fellas, use her for all she's worth. When it comes to dating these women, I'm telling you, I highly recommend that you make it a priority to get something from a woman besides her pussy. Sadly enough, most dudes, when they approach women, that's their number one focus is the end result of getting that pussy, which I've already made a video on casual sex. I don't recommend it, but let's face it. Most men are looking for that. Even if you are not on semen retention, I still don't think you should just be looking for her pussy because women have so much more value to offer us than some quick humps and dumps, okay? That's where most men go wrong. They don't have any plan with this woman. They don't have anything for her to do. Next thing you know, she's bored. On to the next man, the next dick, and you're off to the next pussy. And everybody's just wasting their time, okay? So I'm telling you guys, you got to make it a priority to find something to get from her besides that. How do you know what to get from her? Well, that's for you to figure out what she's worth. Sadly enough, though, a lot of women out here in America, it seems to be the only thing that they have to offer is pussy, right? And I recommend staying away from those women, you know, unless that's all you're looking for. If you're just looking to get some, you know, get your hump on. Hey, do your thing, but this channel is not for you. We're looking to make something great of, our, of ourselves. We're looking to build out here. We're looking to create. And we're looking to have women help us on that mission. Which is why it's very important for you to have some sort of, uh, some sort of mission that's bigger than yourself. You should be focused on your purpose, whatever that may be, whatever big aspirations you have. You should have some large aspirations that you're working on that you can take this woman that you are interested in and place her in that purpose to help you. Now, you may or may not believe in the Bible, but I've said this before. I think the Bible is not about religion. I think it's a practical book that helps us live like kings. And in the first book of the Bible, Genesis, God says he made woman to be man's helpmeet, which in other words, he made woman to assist men in our purpose. And you guys, I don't know how experienced you are with dating and dealing with women, but man, I'm telling you, women love to help us. Good women, at least women that actually like you, I promise she will be thrilled to help you out with whatever you're working on. <laughs> I remember uh, one chick I was dealing with a while ago, man, it's just like, I used to have a, a, a car I was renting out on Turo and she lived nearby. And uh, you know, I, I had her come help me clean the car out, get it ready for the next guest. Had her come with me to go to the uh, car wash, get it cleaned up and you know, I'm just telling her, hey, wipe this, the inside out. You know, I'm, I'm going to do this part over here. You do that. You know, just giving her something to do to help me out. And it's a win-win. And it was just, it was, it was cute and adorable to just see how excited she was to just be with me during the process of me fulfilling my purpose and, and on my mission. And I got to tell you, man, women love it, man. They love just being around you when they really like you. They just wanna be in your presence. And if you're a busy man and you can find something for her to do, I promise she'll be more than happy to do it. So use her for what she's worth, man. She's here for you. It's your job to figure what out, you know, figure out what that is. So make sure you find something for her to do, okay? Also, you're gonna stand out compared to most men who are just living in that lower nature and just thinking with the, the little head and not having anything for her to do. You, she's gonna be bored real quick. She won't be in your life long. So take it from me, guys. Find something.
there's always something, you know, whether it's cooking around the house, you know, women have so many uses. I mean, it's amazing their attention to detail with things. You know, there's a lot of tedious tasks that we have to do in our lives that you may not want to do. That's kind of boring, you know. Hell, explain to her what it is that you do that's tedious. Have her do it. If it ain't too complicated, of course, right? And this is why I like to refer to a lot of pimping, pimps. Again, not saying I encourage. It's illegal to pimp, of course, but I'm saying in the way that pimps approach women. Many pimps, if you ask them, they don't even have sex with women until she's proven to him that she can earn and bring back some money. Now she, now the, the pimp is like, okay, she's proven herself to me. She's proven her worth in my life. Now she deserves some dick. I'll, I'll give her some sex. Now, now she can get some. You know, ain't, ain't that, that's like high level stuff right there. And there's a lot to be learned from pimps. And I'll always go back to it. I think, you know, pimps are one of the highest levels of man out here. Despite the, the the stigma attached to them. But if you approach women in that same manner, you know, damn near if you want to, you could just, you know, have women bringing you money. If that's the case, you just don't want to deal with women unless they're bringing you money. That's a beautiful thing. And that's kind of what I try to get like, even though, you know, that that can always work, but it's very possible. All right. So have something for her to do. Use her in every way that you can. There's just always something that you're working on that you can put her to use with, right? And being on semen retention actually helps with this too because, because you're focused on something bigger. You know you're not just out here just having sex just for the sake of pleasure. You want, it's, you, sex is like a, a real divine thing that's used for uh, reproducing potentially and you're keeping it sacred to be only for a woman that's deserving of that right if you are going to just have sex with a woman you want to keep it strictly to a woman that deserves it right i like to think of my dick as you know having a piece of gold on it i know shout out to rosebud og Rosebud Bitter Dose, man, he, he mentioned this. He like, you want to think of your dick as having gold on it. And every time you have sex with a woman, a little piece of that gold comes off. And you ain't trying to just give out that gold. You're trying to keep the gold to yourself. Right? And you should have that same attitude when it comes to dealing with women. Not just giving out that dick just because you want to get a little, uh, a quick fix of, of pleasure. No, it's got to be like a reward, like, you know, like some candy or something for a woman. Because believe it or not, uh, believe it or not, women enjoy sex. They enjoy dick just as much as you enjoy pussy. I promise you. That's something that took me a while to realize because women are so good at turning down dick. Women are actually really good at not at abstaining from sex whether you want to believe it or not i've met a lot of women in my life <laughs> who have gone over a year like months of no sex and i know some of you guys are like yeah whatever you know she had sex i don't believe that listen man i've met plenty of them that have told me when before they met me they weren't having sex and I can tell that they're serious. Like they, they weren't easy to come across. They weren't easy to get. But you can tell that they were in their version of monk mode, right? So I say all that to say, man, <laughs> you should have a, a greater thing that you're focusing on. And use these relationships to your advantage. Because women were put here for us as men. 
We're a natural pair. We're supposed to be together for the greater good of mankind, right? So find something for her to do. It's not bad to have a woman, man. It's not bad. I know we all are trying to retain. If you're watching this, probably trying to retain. And I'm on day 13, by the way. I'm, I'm going strong. I'm, I'm feeling great. And I'm, I'm going for the long stretch. And, you know, y'all saw my video. I don't know if y'all see me approaching women at the mall. I'm still looking for a good woman. But I'm very, very particular. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing through the bullshit. There's a lot of bullshit women out here that I'm just not interested in. But I do want a woman to bring some good value to my life to help me build my thing faster. Because I got shit to do, man. I got a lot to get done. So use women for all they're worth. They're very valuable if you find the right one. If she only has pussy to offer you, I recommend turning her down. Leave her for some hound dog that's, you know, living in his lower nature while you strive for the higher things in life. Okay? But that's it, man. I'm going to holler at y'all on the next one. Peace.